Aladdin Magic Racer. Let's see. Pretty sure. Yeah, I only need a Wiimote. Only need a Wiimote for this. Sounds like a porno, right? I mean, honestly, it would be a lot more satisfying if it was. There's also a couple mini games that are bad in this game. So it's not just racing, but that's the only thing we're going to be doing cuz there's the mini games are like a totally separate thing. Big Ben Interactive. Oh yeah, and it's we, yeah. Uh... It's not a Disney game if you were wondering. Like, it's not Disney's Aladdin. It's just Aladdin. Aladdin. <laughs> Siddhartha, Tarek, Faruk, Kali, Shivat, Siddhartha. Where the fuck is Aladdin? <laughs> hey. Alright, we're being Shivat. <laughs> so there are four tracks and then the reverse race for each track. So we're gonna do all of those. <coughs> um, okay. Let's do that and just press, I guess, start on continue. Yeah. That looks good. Gonna <coughs> do a charge up there, kinda. I want to try and hit those speed boosts. I think you can also take shortcuts as well, technically. Not oh, nice. That's bad. Need to avoid the birds. Okay. Need to avoid the birds for sure. Boost there. <laughs> Gotta take the camel ass uh, route. That speed boost again, damn it. Oh boy, we had watermelon thrown at us. Hit that bird literally every time. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, if you were wondering if it's challenging at all, no. No, it's not. Oh, we could just do I in game time for this too. We could do both, like have RTA and in game time. Oh, you know what? Actually, I guess there's more than that. Uh, I think I, th I think there might have been two tracks on that section. Go back and look at that. If so, I guess there's technically 16 tracks if you include reverse. And honestly, I would say. I don't know, should we ring through reverse track? Like, why not, right? I don't know. I mean, that could be like 100%, I guess. In a way. I mean, not really totally, because 100% probably could also include all the games and stuff. I don't know. Like, 
like the least I could do is definitely all of the tracks the normal direction. But I think I want to do like all that plus reverse. But maybe, maybe that would make 100% actually somewhat interesting if it was beat the games and do all tracks and reverse tracks. Maybe I don't know. We could we could have that as a thing at some point. Or uh, have a category at least, and then have a reason to run Aladdin Racer Hundo. But the game kind of plays itself. Like you don't need to worry too much. Like if you you don't need to tilt here, for example. Like I don't need to tilt to the right there. It just kind of turns. <laughs> It just kind of goes, <laughs> but tilting a bit helps me stay closer to the sides, which is nice. Uh, I imagine that helps save some time, but... Oh, also, I forgot you can, you can uh, in this game, I forgot you could do this. I think if you trail behind the enemy, you get a little bit of a speed boost because uh, you get like a boost based off of like the tailwind or it's like a tailwind boost or some stupid shit. That's what it's called, I think. It's kind of funny. You pretty much try to use that and then go around the enemy. So I mean, it's not like the worst thing. It's not like the worst racing game in the world. It's just way too easy and. The game kind of steers you to the left or right, so you can't really run into the walls at all. Like, it's not a racing game where, like, you'd have to very in kind of be involved in the turning so you don't run into the walls and lose. Like this, it just kind of, it just goes, you know. And then you kind of turn to the sides that are faster to... Yeah, the the knockoff, uh, the fake blue genie is kind of weird. Not gonna lie, it's kind of scary. Yeah, he like looks at you and he's like, "Yeah, what, bitch? Huh? What are you looking at? You got an item? You gonna fucking use it? Huh? Huh?" like a blue shell. I'm in first. I don't even know what the bird does. It seems like it's kind of rare. The rare birdo. check really quick here so the city oh, okay yeah there are two tracks per area so there's eight eight tracks in total for all tracks yeah for all tracks we'll just do all eight tracks in the normal direction although at some point later in the marathon I might look into doing hundo I don't know it would be basically just uh, all normal tracks, all reverse tracks, and beating all the minigames, I guess. Or at least completing all the minigames once. I'm 
Mario Kart Switch. Mario Kart Switch is pretty I I like Mario Kart 8. I think it's pretty decent. It looks beautiful. Like I love Switch game like I don't know, I love games nowadays because so so many games are so fucking aesthetically pleasing. Although I know that that like doesn't really make up for if a game is crap, but it's uh man, yeah, Mario Kart 8's a beautiful game. On the Switch version, it's so good. It looks so good. I don't know how the Wii U version looks, but the Switch version looks great. It's fucking really just it's a lot to take in when you play the first time, I feel. It's like Jesus Christ, it's so every everything looks so good. This wasn't what you were expecting when you saw Aladdin. That's the thing. Dude, like, okay, so not only is this not Disney's Aladdin, okay. Um, Aladdin isn't even a character you can play as in the, uh, at least, you maybe unlock him later. I don't know, but, like, straight up, you don't even play as Aladdin. Like, Aladdin's not even a character you can pick. I don't understand. <laughs> Like, I didn't have the option out of the four characters that I could pick. None of them were Aladdin. <laughs> like, maybe you can only use him in the minigame. So the person I'm playing is... Uh, as is Shavir, or Shavat. No, it's Shavat. That's what it is. I'm playing as Shavat. I think it's a girl. Shavat, the girl. The girl, that is her title. <laughs> right, we don't want Aladdin in our races. He's a fucking dickhead. He's a fucking white piece of cornbread asshole. <clears throat> Disney's Aladdin, anyway. I don't know about this Aladdin. I don't know if he even exists in this game. I don't know if Aladdin is anywhere. I honestly don't remember. I've played this game once through for the Wii Completion Project. And I cannot recall if Aladdin exists in the game, but I probably also made a fit about him not being a character I could pick. I was leaning to the left because I need to go to the left here. Some of these tracks take forever. into seconds. Alright, so the Oasis. Doing this one, and then we have four more tracks left. Oh, so we have five, including this one. <clears throat> yeah, I think at some point during the marathon, I might look into doing Aladdin Magic Racer Hundo. That'd be funny. I don't know if I know... The, thing, the only thing about doing that is I don't know exactly what all there is. Like, there might be stuff you could unlock, and I don't know. So, that is, that's the only thing. It'd be kind of like semi-blind hundo, but I, not really. I'm pretty sure I checked out the minigames when I... I, I I'm almost 100% positive I checked out the minigames, too, when I was... Uh, Doing this for the week completion thing, so. Yeah, I think. Like, it's. They just. They call it Mag Aladdin Magic Racer as if, like, Aladdin is. Uh, genre or something like Aladdin equals all things magic carpets and Arabia just we'll call it Aladdin not you know like Persian racer or magic Persian racer or magic carpet racer no Aladdin magic racer 
mean, I guess, you know, the items come out of the fucking genie things, so there's that. I suppose there's that. Like, the items come out of the genie lamps, and I don't know... Like, maybe Aladdin is just kind of the generic term. Maybe that's what it actually is. is Aladdin's the generic term for anyone who just uses a magic lamp to summon demons and... And fucking, uh... Oh, what's his name? Uh... That dude. Robin Williams, man. <laughs> that dude, Robin Williams. To summon Robin Williams from, uh... uh yeah, Magic Clan. Or I guess also now Will Smith. Either one. Although, you know, if you get Will Smith, you're gonna be kind of disappointed. You're gonna be like, man, you know, I would have rather had this, you know, bomb item I could drop delivered by Robin Williams, Genie, you know? Yeah, pretty much. I feel like it's straight up just the genie lamps and the carpet. Like, unless you can unlock Aladdin. You might be able to unlock him, I don't know. I don't remember unlocking him before, but I also don't really remember much about this game at all. Because it's so boring. Like, the fact that you don't need to really worry about your turning at all, you just need to kind of worry about whether or not you're on the left or the right side of the, of the track and you want to not hit birds and stuff. Basically, that's it. Like, take the take the right fucking uh, shortcuts and go left or right. You don't need to worry about running into walls because the game doesn't even let you do that. Like, you can't even turn around. You can't like hard turn to the left or anything. Like, it's just it's pretty hilarious. Man, are we going fast. took forever. Four and a half minutes. Nice. What? Oh, my Wii remote died. Nice. My batteries are almost dead. I think they are dead. Yep, they are dead. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if I can take out my batteries right now, can I? Okay. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Dang. I was hoping I could. I'll be back in just a moment. This run's still going, but we can save time later. I need to bat get batteries. <laughs> Am I doing a poo? No, my batteries died on my Wiimote. And I was not expecting that, which is fine. I don't even mind. Okay. Yeah, my Wiimote totally just died on me mid-run, which is okay. I don't even, I don't even care. That just means that there's more time for us to save next time we run all track. And also, if I do... Well, I guess if I do... I don't know if in-game time would even... I don't even know if in-game time would... 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like, with... I don't think in-game time would even count the amount of time that I had it dead. But the only thing about... games with in-game time is, like... When you do in-game time, you also want to kind of consider whether or not you want to ban excessive pausing or pausing at all. That's a big fucking... asshole. Right, Aladdin. Mario's... Mario's cousin Aladdin, you know. Aladdin Mario. Aladdin, Mario's cousin, Mario and Luigi's cousin. Yeah. Twice removed. This track is exponentially shorter. The track was way shorter, two minutes, yeah. Okay, that was that one. I'm pretty sure that was that one. Yeah, that was that one. God, I hope it was. <laughs> I'll make sure to check my run later. Nice. I like how it places you right in front of a bird. That's awesome. That's fair. <laughs> it puts you right in front of a fucking bird. That's fucking glorious, dude. That's a great game. Like, I kind of like some of the track design where it's doing all these twisty things and whatnot, but the fact that the track exists anyway is kind of dumb, you know? It's like... They're magic carpets. Why do they need a track? <laughs> What's the point? They're carpets. They fly. Why not just, I don't know, fly around the environment? <laughs> Make a semi-linear environment that is impossible to get lost in and like fucking star Wars, like fucking star wars episode 1 racer did that like fucking it's not that hard price Like, if they just straight up made it exactly like Star Wars Episode One Racer, with like environments like that or something, it would have been way better. Instead of these dumb glow tracks. Just trying to go around it, hoping that would work. He is unlockable. Is Will Smith in this? Will Smith uh, is kind of in this, you could say, in spirit. He's, he's in, in the way that that genie looks at you. I'm getting fucked by all of these bear traps. Yeah, it was exciting. I put it on YouTube if you want to watch it. We did finish that already, but yeah, it was like, it was a bad run and could be improved by a lot, but it was like about two and a half, well, it was like two hours and 15 minutes or so. It was some good times. I think I'll look into running it again at some point though. <laughs> Because I, I think I could definitely improve on my time quite a bit, and I know what 
uh, it's all kind of required for it, so. Uh, so the newer one that is coming out is PAL only uh, uh, in the US. I think Wii U is getting a US release. I could be wrong, but Wii is not getting a US release. PAL is though, which is kind of cool. I would like to play that one eventually at some point. Like I'd love to play all the PAL games because there's some really cool PAL games that don't exist in the US for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, it's kind of lame, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it is really unfortunate that they didn't put it out in the U.S. They might is eventually, like, who knows? They might eventually put one out, put it out in the U.S. There's, there's no saying that they won't. It's just that, yeah. Like, uh, the announcement that they made for the newer Wii game that's coming out is, uh, yeah, PAL only. At the moment, at least... I'm not keeping up on any de development stuff either, so it's they might have already said whether or not it's not not going to at all, or they maybe haven't said anything. I have no idea. It looks pretty cool though. It's like a kind of 8-bit, 16-bit looking game. I forget what it's called, like Pacific something or other. I forget what it's called. It's pretty nuts though. I mean, so, yeah, I don't know why they decided PAL only for Wii. It might be because the, like, Nintendo America might not be, like, looking to produce any more discs or anything. I don't know. So it looks like it keeps track of which track you were just on, so that's good to know. So I didn't do any of the wrong tracks. So. But, yeah. We will be doing Just Dance 2020, though. <laughs> that came out in the U.S. I don't know when we're going to start doing Just Dance games, but it's probably going to be within the next 100 or 200 that we start up the first Just Dance game. I don't know how hard Just Dance 1 is. I've heard it's kind of hard. Um, and for the goal that I have for that game, we're going to just be looking... Since that game doesn't have a star meter for whatever reason, um, we're just going to be looking to fill the sweat meter, which is like the fucking bar that <laughs> is next to your score or whatever. It's just this bar that I think fills up depending on how well you do. So I think it's pretty much about as good as a star meter, but... I think the sweat meter and star meters are like different later in Just Dance at some point. I don't really know how Just Dance works really, but later they have stars. And I'm going to be looking to try and get five stars on every song. I don't know. Because, I mean, like just playing each song once kind of sucks if I don't do well. I mean, it's like, I don't know. I have, I have conundrums with some things when it's not like... I don't know. When you're not kind of... Like, I feel like getting any score... Like, I can beat just about any Just Dance song if, you know, stars and score aren't, you know, something I care about. So I don't... I feel like that's not really a challenge at all in any way. So I don't know. I feel like that's not quite beating Just Dance if you don't get five stars on each song, maybe. But I know that would be tough. I know... I know it would be tough, for sure, but yeah, I kind of want to do it. Even if we don't end up actually legit dancing, I kind of want to at least get five stars on all songs in the later game. I'm pretty sure by Just Dance, like two or three, they start doing stars, so. And then uh, you get, I'm pretty sure you get unlockables based on, uh, like for each song that you five star. Not totally sure, but yeah. Wait, can you just go through the camel? Is the camel just not a? <laughs> Is it just not a field uh, obstacle? Dude, yeah, there's a lot of really meme shit, especially really outdated meme shit, like, uh, 
uh, like fucking, uh, what is it? What is it called? Um, the one song by Psy, I forget what it's called. That Korean dude, Psy. I forget what that song. I'm 100% sure that's in probably at least two or three Just Dance games. And some some songs we're gonna be doing multiple times. Okay, so camels do hurt you. Okay, some songs we're gonna be doing multiple times because there is a Just Dance Greatest Hits game as well. Gangnam Gangnam Style. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be funny. It's gonna be fucking cringe to the max. Especially because, like, okay, my back looks like garbage because I have, like, scoliosis kinda and kyphosis a little bit. Not too serious, but it looks really bad, so my dancing is gonna look really wonky and it's gonna be funny. Probably, anyway, like, it it's gonna look bad. I'm just gonna say this much. Even if I. You've, like,. There's no chance it's not gonna be funny, it, or at least not awkward. It's not. There's no chance it's not gonna be awkward at the least. At the least, it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it'll be funny. Yeah, and, and on YouTube specifically, all there will be probably is the dancing because most just dance songs are copyrighted. So. So I'll probably have to mute the actual sound, but we do post all the visual gameplay on YouTube regardless if I have to mute it or not. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff like, I mean, God, there's every sort of song that exists. And that's not even, like, Just Dance isn't even the funniest dance game. There's all sorts of dancing games, and there's like Country Dance, and there's Country Dance 2. <laughs> like, uh... There's some other dancing games that aren't nearly as involved, too, like, uh... There's one I'm gonna be doing soon that's called All-Star Cheer Squad. Or at least I think I'm gonna be doing it pretty soon. That's kind of a dancing game, not really, it's sort of... It's sort of cheering, but not... I don't know. Either way. It's a rhythm game, essentially, and it's... It's pretty funny, but, uh... Thankfully for that game, I don't think I have to stand, so... For Just Dance, I am gonna be standing, though, unless I get tired and I want to see if I can beat a song without uh, standing. But. Just Dance is definitely, I think, a bit more involved with how it tracks your uh, Wiimote movement. So I think it's a little bit harder to fool the, the game, but maybe. I don't know. There's stuff like Dance Dance Revolution, which is going to be pretty funny because I'm bad. I mean, I'm bad at at least actual Dance Dance Revolution, like Stand Up Machine Dance Dance Revolution. I am fucking garbo at that shit. Like I'm pretty all right at a lot of rhythm games. I am shit. I am ultra shit at uh, DDR. So that'll be pretty funny once I do that. And there's there's at least two DDR games. Well, actually three. I know of three. There's there's uh, Dance Dance Revolution 1 and 2, and there's also Disney Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> so that'll be fun. I kind of look forward to that, actually. There might be some others, um, and there are some... There's actually this one game... I forget what the game's called, but there's this one game that actually uses the DDR pad as well. Just as, like, a game pad. There might be another, like there might be one or two games like that. But there's at least one, so I'm I'm looking forward to that. And it's not the ones that I already did. The Active Life games, which I already have done, uh, those ones use it their own like unique gamepad, which I have and have finished all of them. Thank God I'm done with those ones. So there, some of them are a pretty good workout. Fucking, the first three games are a really good workout. Uh, the last game isn't as much so, because it's not nearly as, it's not nearly as much fucking just mashing f buttons with your feet. But, uh, God, yeah, the first three games are 
are raw, dude. They go ham. There's a lot of times where you have to fucking just, just fucking go so fast. Oh, uh, time. I forgot to split there. Uh, I don't know when time ended, but that was like 33.30 or something. Yeah, there's also gonna be singing at some point. Let it go. Yeah, I forget if let it goes on any song, uh, games. It might be. I totally split late there. There's a lot of Disney songs you guys will have to be hear hearing me sing eventually. I don't know when I'm gonna start Disney sing, sing it games, but there's a lot of Disney sing it games. There's like four. And one of them is like exclusively high school musical. And then, um, and then there's all sorts of other singing games. Like there's Let's Sing, there's uh, We Sing, <laughs> there, like, uh, there's, uh, God, there's all sorts of stuff. The Voice, there's Karaoke Revolution, there's also, there's like four Karaoke Revolution games. You don't know, but it would be hilarious. I mean, I think it'd be hilarious. I totally agree. Um, yeah, I forget how many uh, singing songs. And there's also a song, uh, also a game that's actually pretty rare. That's a singing and dancing song, a uh, dancing game called Atrevita. Atrevita, uh, god damn, I'm so bad at pronouncing it. Atrevita a soñar, I think. Atrevite, I think that's what it is. Atrevite a soñar. Or Atrevite a soñar, I don't know. Anyway, it's Spanish. So it's literally Spanish songs. Like, all of them are pretty much in Spanish. <laughs> so, yeah. It'll be ridiculous. Wii Music, yeah, Wii Music's gonna be interesting. I don't know what I'm gonna do for Wii Music. I think I'm gonna try and just do 100%, I guess. Like, the speedrun.com definition of 100%. Yeah, there are, like, four Zumba games. <laughs> uh, God, I mean, there's, like, there's Zumba... I know there's at least Zumba 1 and 2, I'm pretty sure. And then there's, like, Zumba World. <laughs> and then there's Zumba Kids. I, and the fact there might be five games. I think there's two Zumba Kids games. I'm totally not sure. But there are a lot of Zumba games. So that's another dancing game. But that's like dance, workout dance. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know what that even entails. There's a lot of workout games too, though. Uh, there's all sorts of workout games and all sorts of weird games like uh, fucking yoga for Nintendo Wii. <laughs> and yoga, I don't even think you can technically lose or win the game. It's just like... It just tells you to do yoga poses and doesn't even tell you how to do them and sometimes I think tells you incorrect yoga poses. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's that's the game. Anyway, my fucking internet is hella being stupid and dropping frames. I wish it would stop. Because... I don't know what the fucking deal is. Is chess a physical release? That could be cool. There's a couple of chess games. Um, and a couple of games that contain chess. Uh, there's at least one that's kind of expensive called Fritz Chess. That is definitely a chess game. It'll be tough though. I fucking am not good at chess, so I'm gonna have to learn how to be good at chess. <laughs> You're not having drops? Okay. Well, hopefully it's not too bad if there are any, because I hate, I hate, hate, hate having bad drops. It fucking, there's like no point in streaming if I have really bad drops, so. Uh, okay. So we beat Aladdin Magic Racer. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, dude. No, I mean, I suck at like, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm really bad at chess. Like, I am, it's going to be a learning experience, and you guys might have to, Teach me a bit. Okay, so the next run is Jumper Griffin Story Any Percent. Let's go. That's a game I'm actually good at speedrunning. And I ran at SGDQ 2019. That was such a fun time. Again, God, you know, I can't tell you guys how crazy it is that I ran that game at SGDQ because, like, I'm the only one who runs th that game. Like, I'm the only person who's run the game. And I routed the entire game and found everything. So it was crazy. It was so cool. I'm so happy that I was able to do that. Because uh, I always thought it would be a really cool game to show off at a, uh, at a big marathon. It wasn't like crazy popular or anything because it's a really obscure game anyway. 
and whatnot, but it was cool. It was a lot of fun. And for the few people that do actually know the game, I think it's pretty awesome. Like, uh, I think it's pretty entertaining when you actually know what the game kind of is like. So. Okay. Okay, I think that's probably fine. 